Okay. It's got plenty of power, and I'm over 100 kilograms. The top speed of this scooter is 20 miles an hour. very similar to a Xiaomi M365 scooter and that's because it shares very similar features. You've got folding handlebars, a rear mechanical disc brake, a kickstand, the charger port and a 350 watt brushless motor up front. It even says AOVO here on the deck. Simple as that. This scooter also easily fits in the boot or trunk of your vehicle. What's really impressed me as well is just how grippy the tyres are. They've got quite warm and sticky now, and every time you turn, you can hear them gripping on the floor. Also, another great thing to mention is there is zero handlebar wobble or rock. It's completely stable, and that's been eliminated with this new locking mechanism just here. The scooter itself has a rear tail light that flashes as you brake. The grips on the handlebars look really comfortable. You've got the front LED light, followed by the control screen, which I'll show you in just a second. You've got the rear brake lever and a bell just here. So in the box, you will get an instruction manual, a little tool bag with Allen keys because you have to fix the handlebars to the scooter stem itself, but that's easy. Charger brick and then a plug for your location. Did I also forget to mention the scooter itself has a 10.5 amp hour battery that sits in the deck right here and it travels 30 kilometers of range. Now, one of the best things about this scooter is it has an IP65 waterproof rating, which means you can really get it down and dirty and wet. And if you live in a country like I do, where it's raining a lot of the year, this is ideal for you. Another thing that's really impressed me about this scooter is just how light it is. It doesn't weigh an awful lot. So if you live upstairs, you can happily carry this without it damaging your back. So, let's take a look at the screen. So to turn the scooter on, you press and hold the button. To turn the lights on and off, you press it once. To cycle through the speed modes, you double press. Standard, medium, and fast, sport. You've got the speed you're traveling at, the battery level in the scooter, and down here at the bottom, you'll see the Bluetooth light. So on your mobile phone, if you download the AOVO Pro app, you'll see it will connect to the scooter and you can manage it fully from here. You can even firmware upgrade the scooter as well. Lock and unlock the scooter, check the mileage, put the lights on and off, and change the settings from kilometers an hour to miles per hour. This scooter even includes cruise control. This little thumb lever here is the throttle, so as you press this, the motor's gonna spin and try and pull away. Again, this is the handlebar clip that allows you to fold the scooter in half. The bell is here, and the brake just behind it. How did they make a scooter that weighs this little? Rubber. And the tires themselves have got some really nice tread on them.
riding one of these electric scooters is certainly faster than running. Hey guys! <laughs> Now I've travelled nine miles in this video and I still have a third of the battery remaining. I use the app on my phone to measure that. That's incredible for a heavy rider with a 10 amp hour battery. And this motor is way more powerful than you'd ever think. So I've been using the AOV or Pro for just over a week now. I've been using it heavily, several hours a day, each day. It's been lasting me quite well. With me going at 19 miles per hour most of the time, I'm getting about 16 to 17 miles of range. I'm sure if I go slow at like 15 miles per hour or slightly under that, I could get a bit more range out of it. But so far, I've been really, really pleased with this scooter. And as you can see here, you just tap the power button once and the headlight, which is really bright by the way, turns on. I tap it again, the headlight turns off. And if I double tap the scooter, it will change between the modes from slow to eco to sport. Sport's hitting about 19 miles per hour and then slow's hitting about nine miles per hour and then eco's hitting about 14 slash 15 miles per hour. And yeah, this dashboard on the scooter can also show you when your phone's connected. It'll show a little Bluetooth icon in the bottom left. It'll show you when it's on cruise control with a little speed dial on the bottom right. And yeah, it shows you the battery for speed of the scooter. Here, it's got a really, really good way of folding up the scooter and also holding it locked in place. The handlebar little latch thing that is a lot better than the normal Xiaomi and a lot of other electric scooters. In fact, some new electric scooters that have recently come out, a lot more expensive than this, have that same kind of latch mechanism to keep the scooter upright. And this, it doesn't wobble and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't shake like the normal Xiaomi and a lot of other electric scooters did. And I just tap for brake here and the tail light will pop up. The braking on the scooter comes quite well, but I actually loosened mine. But you can fine tune it to make it tighter or looser, depending on how smooth and how quick you want to brake. I just made it looser just so I can get a smoother braking. The scooter has a really smooth and fast acceleration, and it can hit 15 miles per hour in about two seconds and 19 miles per hour in just over five. It has the same motor, a 300 watt motor, just like the Xiaomi M365 Pro. And it's not like the Xiaomi M365, the normal one, which has a 250 watt motor, just like most other electric scooters. And what I think is a big factor in helping me get those extra miles compared to the Xiaomi um, is because of a bigger battery. It's rated at 10.5 amp hours compared to Xiaomi's battery which is rated at 7.8 amp hours so obviously there's quite a bit more capacity in the a or v or pro and that's better than any bike though sounds quite nice isn't it and the brakes yeah and the brakes okay so on to the app then and um, the app was available on the app store for both um, Android and iPhone so I'm an iPhone user and you can see me switching the um, display on for the first time and um, it's always so satisfying isn't it getting the, um, the packaging off you can there's the app um, and um, it's just connected so quickly um, no problem whatsoever lots of options available on the app you can turn the uh, lights um, on and off which um, uh, uh, is quite a nifty little thing to do on via the app. You can set maximum speeds within the three different options um, as well. So um, there is a slow mode, there is a 
eco mode and then there is a sport mode so yeah there's the um, light going and off going on and off rather um, via the app and um, this is uh, me I think trying to um, do some of the um, the testing out of the limiting of the um, the, the, the top speed and um, I did have it in kilometers an hour which is the the factory setting so I just sort of lifted it up with my foot and watched the um, the, the front wheel go around but I've set it to miles an hour um, now which is uh, um, much more um, straightforward for, for me to understand so um, yeah that's pretty much the um, scooter and um, built the app connected um, and as you can see there, it's on charge, ready to take out for um, the first test ride. Um, I did take it out for a little bit of a spin, but it started raining. We've had terrible storms here in the UK um, during August. So um, really I've waited for today to do this video. Okay, so there's um, three modes on the scooter. There's slow, um, which takes you to a maximum of nine miles an hour, um, which I'm sure is fine just for sort of a, um, built up areas and moving in and out of um, members of the public. If I move on to um, eco mode, that takes you to about 14 miles an hour or so. And then sport mode. There you go. And that takes you to um, about 19 miles an hour. So I'll just do a turn round. Okay, so So for me, on stopping, I feel like I could probably get more out of the regenerative braking, so I might adjust the settings on the app. Um, so, um, but at the moment, if I'm traveling at, um, there you go, sort of 17 miles an hour and take my hand off the accelerator, it's a fairly slow, gradual um, move down to stop. So yeah, that's, um, that's something to work on but yeah otherwise very very impressed it's quick